Housing Board, built to order BTO projects in Tampanese and Holland Village, were the most popular among first-timer families in the June sales exercise. As at 5 p.m. on June 26, around eight first-time applicants were vying for each of the 214 four-room flats and 174 five-room flats at the Tampanese Green Topaz project, which has a waiting time of three years in one month. The development is near Tampanese West MRT Station, and one of its four blocks will also have two-room rental flats. Holland Vista in Queenstown drew two. 100 applicants for 228 forum flats, despite having the longest waiting time in this launch for years and nine months. It will be the first public housing project in the area since 2012. The first-timer application rate stood at 6.2 for these prime location public housing PLH model flats that come with stricter conditions including an 8% subsidy clawback upon resale and a 10-year minimum occupation period MOP. In all, 6,938 flats are on sale across eight projects in Jurong East, Kaolang slash Wampoa, Queenstown, Tampanis, Woodlands and Ishuan. Applications will close at 11.59pm on June 26 on the HDB flat portal. Tanjung Ro Riverfront 1 and 2 in Kompong Arang Road, which are PLH projects, had a total of 3,763 applicants for 1,296 forum flats, with two first-time applicants gunning for each unit. Three-room flats were undersubscribed among first-timers, with 0.8 first-time applicant vying for each of the 197 such units. The projects comprising 11 blocks ranging from 8 to 29 storeys, are near the stadium and Mountbatten MRT stations. Property analysts said the flats could have views of the Singapore Sports Hub and Marina Reservoir. Among the projects in non-mature estates, Chenchuru Hills in Ishuan was the most sought after. The development, bounded by Sambawang Road and Lorong Chenchuru, is the first BTO launch in the up-and-coming housing area. The five-room flats in this project had 1,509 applicants for the 390 units, with about two first-timers vying for each unit. There were two first-time applicants for each of the 420 four-room flats. At least 95% of four-room and larger flats in non-mature estates are set aside for first-time applicants. In Jurong East, the first-timer application rate for the Taban Breeze project in Taban Gardens Road and Jurong Town Hall Road was 1. 9 for the 234 five-room flats and 1.1 for the 444 four-room flats. Application rates were lower for a 1,609-unit development in Woodlands along Admiralty Road and Marceling Lane. The first-timer application rates were below 1 for 4 and 5-room and 3-generation flats at Marceling Peak 1 and 2. This means all first-time applicants for these flats are set to get a chance to select a unit. Marceling Peak I, a project with a shorter waiting time, will have a wait of 2 years and 11 months. Marceling Peak II will have a wait of 4 years and 6 months. Three-room flats in Woodlands and Jurong East were also undersubscribed among first-timers. With a first-time application rate of 0.7 across the three projects, while those in Ishuan drew about one applicant per flat on offer. These units have an estimated size of about 69 SQM. Those who get a queue number for this launch can expect to book their flat at the HDB Hub in Toa Peo between September 2024 and August 2025. In a Facebook post on June 26, HDB said first-time applicants who applied for 3 dash 4 and 5 room and 3 generation flats in Woodlands and Jurong East stand a very good to relatively good chance of being able to book a flat. The median application rate for first-time applicants for 3-room and larger flats was 1. 
8 s at 12 p.m. on June 26, higher than that in February's exercise, HDB noted. It expects the final application rate for June's sales exercise to stand at about 2, lower than the pre-pandemic norm. This continues the trend of more muted application rates for first-timers buying three-room and bigger flats, which form the vast majority of BTO sales launch purchases since the November 2022 sales launch. It added. Ms. Christine Sun, chief researcher and strategist at property firm Orange Tea Group, said she expected more applicants in June's sales exercise as the new classification of flats into prime. Plus or standard categories will take effect from the October launch. As at 5 p.m. on June 26, the total number of applicants stood at 21,827, the highest since November 2022 when there were 24. 179 applicants, she noted. A project like Tampanese Green Topaz saw a higher number of applicants as these buyers get to enjoy the flat with just a five-year MOP, while future flats in similar locations will likely be classified as plus flats. She said, BTO units in choicer locations will fall under the prime and plus categories. These flats will have stricter resale conditions, such as a 10-year MOP and a subsidy clawback upon resale. Standard flats, which will form the bulk of public housing supply, will come with a 5-year MOP and have no significant restrictions on the pool of resale buyers. Mr. Mohan Sandrasejaran Head of Research and Data Analytics at property agency Singapore Realtors, said the high demand for flats in Holland Vista could be attributed to its proximity to Holland Village MRT Station and the One Holland Village Mall. The rarity of newer public housing flats in the Holland Village area likely further boosted the interest of potential homeowners eager to secure an HDB flat in this sought-after location. He added.